Good afternoon, my name is Alina Shaltsova, I'm an immigration attorney from New York. In today's video, we're going to discuss the most recent immigration news, and specifically two immigration bills that may be introduced in the nearest future. One will address something called registry, and another one is supposed to bring relief to the farm industry in the United States. Taken together, if passed, these two measures, of course, will become a part of the comprehensive immigration reform that Democrats promised the, in the United States at the time of the previous election cycle. So thank you very much for watching me. My name is Alina Shalsova. I practice immigration law in New York. I help people in all 50 states and overseas. You can find me online. You can find our services at www.shoutsova.com. And of course, you can also reach me or and book a consultation with me using my office number 917-885-2261. Thank you very much for watching and let's start. On July 20th, 2022, some House Democrats are set to introduce a new bill or legislation that if it goes through, it will allow for people who are undocumented in the United States to receive green cards. This is something that call, it is called registry. Registry is not a new bill. You may be familiar with this term and you may even know that it's been around for decades. But the last time it was updated was also decades. Registry currently allows somebody who can prove that they've been residing in the United States from 1972 to apply for a green card without having to show that they may be sponsored by a family member or an employer. And they don't also have to show that they maintained lawful non-immigrant status in the United States since their last entry. This is very important. These are the main reasons why some immigrants in the United States cannot fix the immigration status, lack of either legal entry, lack of maintenance of their lawful non-immigrant status in the United States, or they just simply do not have a qualifying relative or an employer who may sponsor them. So registry would fix this issue. Specifically, the new bill establishes a seven years of presence eligibility to apply for a green card. It incorporates a rolling component so that future legislation would not be required to update the registry. If this bill would in fact be passed by both the House and the Senate and signed into law by the President, it would provide immediate relief to essential workers, dreamers, TPS holders, and farm workers. Another important piece of legislation to watch out for would come from a potential deal between the Senate Republicans and Senate Democrats with regard to something called the Farm Workforce Modernization Act. If that law passes, it would allow farmers to hire workers year-round, and we're talking about uh, foreign workers, not only seasonally, as it's happening right now, but it also would give pathway to those farm workers who qualify pathway to green cards. The only one thing that's in the way of this bill being passed is a little provision concerning workers' ability to sue the employers if the employers are suspected of violating labor laws. These are the main updates in immigration law that I wanted to share with you for today. Thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for more information.